they also confiscated telephones of uh, the staff who were in, in this residence. I'm told that uh, they confiscated a number of things in this residence. Of course, um, you remember we were here uh, some times back and then they said that they did not come. That was something that was a hoax, according to them at that time. And I'm being told that uh, they have been in court. At first they went to Kiambu, supposed to get an order, which they did not get. Then they came to the court here in Nairobi, and um, I'm told they did not get orders. The lawyer here, uh, Dantan Omari, was there in court, and I'm told the media was also present uh, when they were denied um, an order, and the matter is supposed to be heard on the 7th of next month. Uh, but then, they are here they're pretending to say that they have an order. We don't know where they got that other order, uh, and, 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 and why they, they hurry, why they should come in spite of the fact that they did not get an order from the courts. But most importantly is that we, these police are operating very much like the, in the Nyayo Times. They say that the more the things change, the more they remain the same. We are seeing actually a reinvention of, of Nyayo era here. Police acting with impunity. And the actually it being supported by the Directorate of, 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 of Public Prosecution. I think that the GPP should be waiting for the police to carry out investigations and then take evidence to the DPP, which then he should examine and see if this uh, merits prosecution. But in a situation where the office of DPP is working again with the police in doing investigations uh, is, is, is actually uh, untenable. But what we want, want to say is that we are actually going back to a police state uh, as a country. I don't think that uh, Fred Matiang need to be treated as a criminal in this country. Remember, they said that, oh, they were investigating, I don't know, a case of uh, land in Waraka, but they are not reached a stage where they required Matiangi to record a statement. That's what they said the other time. What is the urgency over this issue? Why should somebody who has been in charge of internal security in a country just up, up six months ago be seen as a very big criminal who should be, be prosecuted? This is actually persecution. But to add insult to injury, another matter. This just today, you have also seen a, a case where police again are being used to try to interfere to actually with a, a, a political party. You know that some other members of a party, uh, Jubilee, actually defected to Kinja Kwanza. And they say that they are no longer going to be part of a Zimio coalition. And then now the same, same people went and said that they are taking over. They sent the letters to register of political parties. The register of political parties just wrote and said that according to her the meeting was properly convened. But that matter itself has not yet been concluded because the, the other party, the official, the Bonaparte officials of the party have not been given a chance to be heard. But today the police officers went with these people and invaded the headquarters of, of, of Jubilee party and they took over the, the, the offices there. Meaning that actually they're trying to destroy Jubilee so that Jubilee can be consumed by Kenya Kwanza. This is basically an intention of taking this country back to a single party dictatorship. This is what we are seeing here. That they want to undermine your position, kill your position, so that they create one monolith, Mamona Baba. This is basically where we are going to. And this country is in serious danger of starting back to a single party dictatorship.